What's up, what's up everyone? Happy, happy Friday. So, wanted to jump on today and ask you all if you are letting the scale determine the outcome of your, of your day, the happiness of your day, whether you feel successful, whether you're gonna have anxiety or stress about your weight, how you feel, how you look, because you're starting your day with the first thing that you're doing is stepping on the scale. So if you're the type of person that steps on the scale and then you either have a really great day depending upon how things look at, on that number or if it's stressing you out to the max for the rest of the day, you're thinking about your food choices and what you can and can't have and how this is going to affect you and that you need to eat less or more, then this is the video for you. So. For me, I used to be the same way, you know, I used to step on the scale every single day, every single morning, and I would look at the number that was on there and it would either make me really happy or it would make me super stressed out if I was up a half a pound or, you know, up a pound or two pounds. And if I weighed myself on a Monday and, you know, I had a little bit of water retention from the weekend, it would stress me out to get on there every single day and to know that basically my day, my happiness, and um, how I felt about my body more so was determined by that one number, that first thing that I would do. You know, I'd wake up, I'd go into the bathroom, I'd make sure that I would, you know, use the bathroom first, and then I'd weigh myself. And that was like clockwork every single day. Um, and a lot of us have weight loss goals. That is not the you know thing that I'm saying that you need to stop. Like we all have weight loss goals, we all have body fat percentage goals. But if this is you know either putting you into a massive restriction mode throughout the day based on what that number is, or you're feeling that you're not successful, or it's getting in your head too much, you might need to figure out some other strategies so you can see that you are getting results, that you are making progress, and that number is not the one thing that defines you. You know, the last time we walked around with basically what we weighed out to the public was when we were born. Um, you know, you get a birth announcement, and it's like. Aaron was 19 inches long and weighed 8.8, um, you know, eight pounds eight ounces. I don't know if that's how tall I was, but I know that's how much I weighed. Um, th but that's the last time. So, for a lot, of, for a lot of people, we can look the exact same and weigh two different weights. I have the, I have a picture of me somewhere. I'll have to find it where I weigh the exact same in two different photos, but look completely different. Um, that's because my body fat change, my body fat changed. I was more healthy did things the right way and if you're just so focused on that number that number might not change as much as you want to and the average weight loss for people is around anywhere from like 0.1 to up to two pounds per week and you don't if you have anything higher than that you might have had some inflammation or you might have a more amount of weight to lose um, so that's why we can't think that you know overnight that this magic is gonna happen uh, when it comes to the number on the scale so if you feel like you've been fixated or that is how you start your day, the first thing that I want you to do is pick one day per week, even if that, maybe you're gonna you know, nix the scale altogether, but if you're going right now from weighing yourself every day, transition into maybe you have a weekly weigh-in. Now, that weekly weigh-in is not going to determine how well you did, because especially for the women out there, depending upon if it's the time of the month or if you weigh yourself on Monday after you know, a weekend where you may have been a little bit more flexible with your nutrition, you're probably going to retain a little bit of water. So, um, weigh yourself once a week on a day that makes sense for you, for your body type, and around the same things. Now, you don't have to weigh yourself every week. That's just my suggestion to stop you from being scale obsessed and feeling frustrated with everything that happens kind of around the scale when you step on there and what you're seeing. The second thing is, is take some measurements. And I know it takes a few extra minutes of time, but as we, you know, build more lean muscle and we start to shed some body fat, you're going to see different numbers as far as the measurements on your arms, on your chest, on your stomach, on your hips, on your um, thighs, wherever you want to measure, those are kind of the average places, but do that. And then in a couple of weeks, check it again. Um, same thing with like your pant sizes. So find a pair of pants that eh, maybe they are a little tight, uh, like fitting a little bit more tight than you want them to, and decide that you're going to use those pants as kind of a check-in for yourself. And so every week, uh, maybe when you weigh yourself, you also put on those pair of pants. So you have two things to kind of um, look at and compare. So maybe, uh, you know, the scale only went down um, one, one pound, but your pants, 
you know, you can finally buckle them. That's something to celebrate. You have to celebrate all of these successes, all of the ups and downs of a health and fitness journey along the way. Because if you are starting your journey at 200 pounds and when you weigh 160, if that is your goal, for example, if you're not having fun, if you're not enjoying the process, and if you're just being too restrictive and not just taking in every moment throughout that journey, what, that weight that you're trying to get to is not going to solve your happiness. That is something completely outside of a number on the scale. Because if you're not happy at 200 pounds, just because you get to 160 does not mean your happiness is going to change and you're going to feel better and everything is going to be magical and you know a miracle is going to happen. You have to love the process. You have to enjoy the ups and downs. You have to know that sometimes things are going to be hard. Sometimes things are going to little come a little bit easier. One day your motivation is probably going to be super high and you're ready to do your workout. And other days you're going to feel like you need to crawl into the gym or into your workout room or whatever that might be for you. So enjoy the process the entire time. And the last thing is, is get your body fat percentage measured. Um, you can go to certain places that have like the handheld ones. You can actually go do what's called like a bod pod where it's more of like an underwater testing. Um, a lot of them, you know, there's different accuracies for all of them. Obviously, the one that where you go underwater, um, that's going to give you the most accurate reading. But the other ones are usually within a you know couple percentages, and it's good if you start with one and then track yourself a few weeks later. Even if it's not spot on, you're still seeing a difference on what your um, approximate body weight and body fat percentage is. So. Try that out. Just try a few different things. But if you feel like you're the type of person where every day you're waking up and you're weighing yourself and that's determining your happiness for the rest of the day and how you eat and how you restrict yourself from this and that, that is not the how you know weight loss works. That is not how you are going to find balance, how you're going to get to long-lasting results because if you're just focused on that number, even when you hit that number, things might change and it's not going to drive you to the true happiness and the beauty of everything which is being able to be flexible and um, be able to do the things that you still love without having all of that restriction so if you guys have any questions about this feel free to post them in the comments below hopefully this helps get you thinking a little bit i know that i've been there personally and i was able to basically wean myself off of being a scale obsessed person and restricting myself so again if you guys need anything drop in the comments below and if you are not a part of my tribe beauties and beasts i will post the link to join my private facebook group in there as well so talk to you all soon have a happy friday have a good weekend and see you later